Okay, so my name's Nicholas Barrows. I'm uh, 23. Uh, my journey with Jesus started, um, I mean, I guess it, I've been in church since I was born. Um, as long as I've been around, my parents have been uh, dragging me <laughs> to churches um, across the country. But uh, I, when I was five years old, we kind of settled down in Alabama, and I um, was listening to some cassette tapes from Adventures in Odyssey. It was a radio program uh, then on cassette that would uh, teach kids about uh, life lessons and about Jesus. And it started me asking some questions, and my parents uh, explained to me that if I um, wanted to go to heaven when I died, I um, needed to ask Jesus to be in my heart. And at five years old, I'm not entirely sure I 100% understood what that meant, but I knew that heaven sounded really awesome. And um, they mentioned a little bit about hell um, and that didn't sound great, but really the exciting thing was just getting to heaven. I wanted those the streets of gold and living forever. Those sounded like really good things. So um, uh, I was in church from then on constantly like learning and gaining more and more head knowledge about what um, the Bible said and the, the stories um, and who Jesus was. And I, But I, I got to say, it didn't really become as much of a personal relationship. My life was most, my relationship with Jesus was mostly just understanding who he was and not understanding how that connected with who I was um, until I was um, in uh, sixth grade. Uh, I went to a youth conference with my church and um, I heard it explained to me for the first time that it really connected, that I um, was born broken, that um, the things that I um, had done in my life little things like lying or um, sneaking and doing things behind my parents' backs, those things that ended up, they, they um, weighed on my conscience, weighed on my, um, uh, weighed on me, and didn't feel right, were because I was broken and they were sin, and that Jesus came to give us relief from those things. And I started understanding more and more who he was. They told me that he had died so that I didn't have to suffer the penalty of those sins anymore. And um, that connected with something really deep inside me. Um, and, and I began to try to live my life for him. It gave me a new purpose and new meaning that I hadn't had before. Um, and that was when I think Satan really started um, to attack with um, struggles with addiction and convincing me that um, that brokenness in me, that became, began to become the focus instead of the relief from that that Jesus would give me. I began to see more and more um, the things in me that were wrong, uh, the more um, I, I felt very broken by sin struggles. I would sin and then I would feel um, the shame from those things. And even though I had been told that Jesus would give freedom from those things, I, I ignored that part and I, I just felt bound in that shame. I, um, I found myself a lot of times feeling like, I think the best way I can put it into words is feeling like the story of the prodigal son, where the son runs away from the father, he lives in the pit, in the mud, and then he returns home to the father. And people who know that story will know that then the father runs out and meets him with open arms and welcomes him back in. But I instead just hit pause right there. And I just had that feeling of, I know I've done something wrong and I need to go back to the father. But I would never allow the father to embrace me and to take me back because I felt like I was still broken from being in that mud. It wasn't for many years that I, um, uh, of kind of wrestling back and forth and, and Jesus constantly calling me back and saying, you, um, I, I love you just the way you are. I want to welcome you with open arms, like that prodigal son. It wasn't until I, I realized that it wasn't, there was nothing that I could do. I just needed to surrender and come back to the Father. Let him embrace me, even though maybe I didn't feel worthy. And it was in that understanding that he loved me even though I it didn't feel worthy in that moment. That's where um, my relationship with Jesus completely changed. And now it's based on um, him understanding that he loves me even though I'm broken and coming to him and accepting that. And, and that just gives me an even greater 
um, purpose. And it's, it's the greatest relationship I could ever have, but greater than my relationship um, with my wife who accepts me despite of my flaws, but she can never accept me as fully as Jesus does because she can never know me as completely as he does. Um, and, and so it's just been an incredible journey as I've begin, be, begun to continue that process of allowing myself to be open to the Father um, loving me, even if in the moment I don't always love myself.